Nico, I know not the outcome you guys wanted, but how did it feel getting back out there tonight? I felt good. Um, Rims weren't really bothering me, so it was uh, good to get out there and play football again. Do you, do you feel like you guys just dug too big of a hole early come up? Come up? Definitely. Uh, if you go against a good team like boys, you can't start slow. You know, the one thing we told ourselves if we wanted to win, we had to start off fast, and uh, we just didn't do that tonight. You know, you get a big run to start the third quarter. What, what, what happened there? Kind of take us through it if you could. You know, I don't like losing. <laughs> so um, if we needed something big, we told the offense we need to start off fast uh, second half. So when I got the ball, I saw daylight and just hit it. Was it nice to, you know, not that you ever want to take big hits, but to take the first hit coming off those rivers? You said it, they weren't bothering you, but when you took the first hit, was there, were you a little anxious to take that first hit, I guess, tonight? Yeah, I was a little relieved. I know I, I braced up a little bit on the, that first hit, but uh, after that, you know, as the hits continued, I started to feel more and more comfortable. Did you kind of always figure you'd be out there tonight, you know, going into bye week uh, with the injury? Yeah, no, there was no way I was missing the first conference game. You guys struggled a little bit on third down, but is that more of a product of just not quite doing what you want to do on first and second down? Yeah, um, some of it was just mental mistakes. We uh, get penalties. We put ourselves in a terrible position going into third down. And so, you know, it's better not to be on third down at all. But, yeah. You know what needs to happen just moving forward? I mean, there's still a lot of conference play to, to go, but for, you know, just to be more consistent on offense, you know, you know, possess the ball, get first downs, finish drives. What, what needs to happen just for, for more consistency to come up here? All of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we can't let this team beat us twice. So we got to watch the tape, learn from this game, and then move on. If we uh, hold our heads down and get sad that we have one conference loss, then it's going to be a terrible season. So if we just learn from the film, move forward, do what has to be done, and execute better on offense, then we'll be all right. It seems like you guys got the run game going a little bit with some, some plays in the second half, but is, is it tougher, you know, to do that when you're behind, you know, to, to get the run game going like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to run the ball when you're down. You know, it eats up the clock. You know, there was some change along the offensive line. Keegan moved to center and stuff. I mean, you're worried about carrying the ball. Any, any thoughts of that? Do you think it went okay? Was there some, some issues maybe? Or Keegan, Keegan can do it all for us, so I wasn't really worried about that. Put him left guard, center, right guard, doesn't matter. He's smart, athletic, so... In terms of how I felt running the ball, I didn't think there was going to be much of a problem.